but that brings me to this now. I do. Well, first, first question: Do you feel like you're constantly evolving, like on an everyday basis, like every week basis, or do you think it takes time for you to to say, "Well, I've, I've been evolving." I I think uh I think it, it's both, mm-hmm. right? Like I have this view of my life and life in general that if you're not moving forward, you're moving backwards. Okay. You're never stagnant. You're never the same. So you, you so you think there's no such thing as standing still. No. So you you don't think anybody can be stuck. No, I think okay. stuck. Is a mindset. Mm, okay, explain that. Because uh, you know, uh, lately, you know, I'm telling you, I keep preaching the same thing. I'm pretty big on perspective lately. Yeah. And so I think stuck can be a great thing for somebody because it's a reminder that you know within you that you were made for more because it doesn't feel like it's enough. Mm, okay, so stuck is a mindset, like you're saying. Yeah, like I think that is like, all right, why am I feeling like this? Because I realize that I'm capable of getting that position of a job. Okay, good. That means I need to thrive for more because I believe I'm made for more. So what about when you feel content? Like you're good here. What do you think? That that just means that you don't... You okay, don't no, no, but for me that's two different things. Like I'm good here and being content are two different things. Well, yeah, they are. They definitely are okay. two different things. That's what I'm saying. Like, you think somebody with the mindset of, oh, I'm content, I'm happy here. I think we should always aspire to be content. We should not always, uh, we should never be complacent. Mm, okay. So, so content as in, you know, I understand I'm not where I want to be, but I'm not where I used to be. I'm content because there's growth, but I'm not satisfied. Right? You want to continue. Content, uh, c- complacent is like, eh, I'm, I'm whatever. Gotcha. No, no, I believe we're always, you know, and I, when I, when I, I want you guys to understand I'm, I'm thinking more more broad than just financial stuff, right? I'm thinking as a person, as ideas, as as, as relationship wise, as all these. It's like there should always be complacent. Like there should never be complacency. There should always be contentment. Like I am happy where I'm at right now. I'm I'm satisfied where I'm right now. But I understand that I can be better. I can treat people better. I can think better. I can know more. I can reach more. I can influence more. Mm-hmm. You know. So like because I don't ever want to be comparing myself to somebody else, and that that's what happens when you're not content. Right. No, and yeah, I, I like I like how you said that because it made me think now. Okay, so we should strive to be content, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's appreciating where you're at. Correct. The greatness you're not, idea. You're not exactly. You're you're being grateful. You're not constantly like, oh my God, you know, I should be here, or I wish I had this, or I wish I had that, right? Because I think um I just read this quote um I believe it was this morning. It said, whenever I hear somebody start with the words I wish, I stop them immediately. Because those are two very dangerous words to be put together like that, right? Um, and, I, and I thought to myself, I was like, wow, that's so true. Because um, we constantly do, you know, we, we're constantly comparing, like you said, right? We're constantly comparing the, oh, I'm not, you know, I'm, and, and uh, like you said, it's not about money, it's not about that stuff, but it's so hard, especially in a city like ours, to, differ- to differentiate that. You know what I mean? To mm-hmm. really, like, unlock yourself yeah, for that yeah. because, um, Everywhere we go, it's about the stuff. What, what do we see? Yeah. I mean, like Gucci this and nice car that, and so it's almost a, like a constant reminder of like, wow, what, which should, should I be there? So, this, this is my second question. Do you think that striving for those material things is can be a good thing? Because because how hard is it? Because it can be right. Mm-hmm. Like some people, so some people how see hard like hard the, the, the like the not put your value into those things. I I think. In your question, you gave the answer, right? Striving for things is, is, is great, right? We should always set goals for ourselves, right? Whether your goal is to graduate from high school, that's striving for something for a degree. Yeah, for sure. Or your goal is to get your first car, or your goal is to buy your first house. Mm-hmm. Like, you're striving for it. You're working hard for that. You know, those practical goals, right, are, are great because they help us aim and help us focus you know, we get that kind of the what is it called the horse, the horse uh, uh, television, television, television. Right. Like right? Like the horse, the horse racing horses. Exactly. Yeah. So you know, so they don't look left or right. Yeah. Focus. So if you always like, you know, I'm I'm working double overtime for my house, for my house, for my. House. It, it gives you fuel mm-hmm. for that goal. Definitely. What I think it's important that we all are aware of. And this is like this is like a one one moment self awareness moment. It's like a constant self awareness. Is that nothing and no one. Right, like person-wise and, and physical, material things can give me more value. 
Like those things cannot make me more. Mm -hmm. like that. And, and that because that's where we 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 lack is we assume that having more makes me more. Yeah, and you know that that's um that's in in reality that's the short term. That that that's the I what I, what I guess I would consider the short term mentality mm -hmm. because we are constantly searching for the for that for the next the next mm -hmm. like I, that for us right for us right now. We we work towards something, whatever it may be, mm -hmm. right? Working towards something, and we have certain goals in our mind, right? like one day to have a house, mm -hmm. one day to travel here, one day to have this, to have that. What happens when you have all of that? You're constantly I chasing the next thing, the next thing, mm -hmm. the next thing. When do you ever rest your mind for the goals, or does your mind never rest? I think it should be both. You should always set a new goal. So a new standard, new level, right? Um, I, I think we should aspire for greatness because we were all made for greatness, right? right? So never settling, I think, is a good thing. But in that comes the idea of contentment. Whereas, like, you know, take a moment and reflect on all that you already have, all that you've already accomplished, all the people that are around you, and all the small blessings that sometimes we don't consider blessings, we just take for granted, Right? And just say, man, my life is great. You know, that I was just thinking about it. Like, wow. We come up, right, in a, in a time where it's, it's, it's almost, you know, we constantly say, oh, we should not compare ourselves to this, to that, right? But then you have people that say, like, oh, you should be grateful because there's people that are, less you know, than. they have way less mm -hmm. than you and this, oh. and you were still comparing. So, I mean, like, in a way, I feel like we kind of almost have to compare because it's hard. I mean, we all have to evaluate ourselves at one point. You know, I was, I was legit thinking about the same thing last week. I was thinking about this idea that I hate comparison, but I need comparison. And then I realized something. It's like, I need comparison, but I need to make sure it does not lead me to competition. Mm, okay, I get that. Because... I feel that. I need comparison, not just with other people, but with myself. Mm -hmm. Like, I look at this Chris compared to the 18-year-old Chris. And I was like, dude, you're still an idiot. But that guy was an <laughs> idiot. A big idiot. You know what I'm saying? But I also need comparison with the people around me and with people that I don't know. Right. Because it's like, you know, it brings me to gratefulness. Like, you know, some people have it worse than I do. Mm -hmm. But it also brings me to greatness. Where it's like, man, look what these people were able to accomplish. Right. Why not me? Right. You know, that, 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 okay, so this is the thing for me. So, and this is where my mind struggles so much because, yeah, like, we, it's, it's, it's almost like a switch that we have to 